Today, we're diving into one of the most exciting developments in the smartphone world, Qualcomm's latest chip, which is shaping up to be a game changer, especially for Android flagship devices. Stick around because this new processor will be the one to finally challenge Apple's dominance in the chip market. Qualcomm has been making some bold moves in the tech industry lately, and their newest chip could give Apple's iPhone 16 a run for its money. This isn't just another incremental upgrade. Qualcomm is taking things to the next level with some serious innovations, all starting with their acquisition of Nuvia back in 2021. Nuvia, a startup founded by ex-Apple engineers, has played a massive role in Qualcomm's recent breakthroughs, especially with the development of their new custom CPU core known as Orion. Now the Orion cores are at the heart of Qualcomm's upcoming chips, and they're designed to push the envelope in terms of performance and energy efficiency. By building their own cores instead of relying on ARM designs, Qualcomm is aiming to create a chip that's more powerful and tailored for future needs, particularly in AI and gaming. With the upcoming Snapdragon Elite, yes, that's the new name Qualcomm is adopting, leaving behind the old Snapdragon 8 Gen series. We're about to see some significant changes. This isn't just a simple rebranding. It's a signal that Qualcomm is serious about redefining what Android chips can do. Recent leaks have even shown that Xiaomi's next flagship, the Xiaomi 15, will be one of the first devices to showcase this new chip. So if you're an Android enthusiast, this is big news. Qualcomm's new chip promises to deliver incredible performance and early benchmarks are already painting a picture of just how capable it will be. It's rumored to outperform the A18 Pro chip in Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max in multi-core performance, which is impressive, considering Apple's long-standing reputation for having the best mobile processors. The Snapdragon Elite isn't just fast, though. It's also designed to be more efficient, ensuring longer battery life, even under heavy loads like gaming and multitasking. Speaking of gaming, the Snapdragon Elite is expected to elevate the gaming experience on Android devices to new heights. Leaks suggest enhanced graphics, smoother gameplay, and better thermal management, which means your device won't overheat during those intense gaming sessions. Qualcomm's focus on AI also plays a big part here, as it allows for real-time optimizations that make games run better and look more stunning than ever before. AI capabilities are another area where the Snapdragon Elite shines. From smarter photography to advanced voice recognition and real-time translations, Qualcomm is packing a lot of AI processing power into this chip. This isn't just about raw speed. It's about making your smartphone smarter and more responsive to your needs. Expect features like improved camera performance, seamless multitasking, and even more intuitive AI-driven interactions. With brands like Xiaomi already gearing up to launch devices powered by the Snapdragon Elite, it's clear that Qualcomm's new chip is ready to make waves. More manufacturers are likely to follow suit, bringing this powerful new processor to a wider range of devices. Whether you're a gamer, a power user, or just someone who loves cutting-edge tech, this could be a big moment for Android. So, will Qualcomm finally be able to challenge Apple's supremacy in the chip world? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The Snapdragon Elite is bringing some serious heat, and the battle for the best smartphone chip of 2024 is just getting started. Thanks for tuning in and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market, and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen, developed in partnership with Wacom, is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. 
Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons, the action button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new camera control button. This physical key equipped with a capacitive surface allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3-nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto and a 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery, and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, 
while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.